Okay, we're back with um, the second episode, which is going to be about actually making the map and the coastline that we're going to be using. Right now, I have a coastline pre-made, but I'm going to show you how I got here. We're going to use an already made parchment from the internet. You can use it any, t any time you want. I know there's a way you can make a grunge your own grunge sort of paper in Photoshop, but that isn't necessary for what we're going to do. So, I already have a pre-made file right here for us with the correct um, dimensions we need for the paper below. So what we're going to do is going to go to, we have a new layer, we have a layer. So we're going to go to filter, down to render, and the clouds. And now we have our what we're going to be basing our, co our coastline off of. So we're going to go to fill adjustment layer, then we're going to go to threshold, and basically we create the coastline. The white, from what my understanding is, is the ocean, and the black is the land. So we, if we want to change the tide, is we either bring this up, I want to have more ocean, bring this down. So I'm going to have like a good sort of mix between the two. And this is excellent. But if we want to do a more refined touch, we want to use the either the dodge tool or the burn tool. I'm going to use the dodge tool right now. And make sure you're on the th layer of the clouds, not the threshold layer. Or you won't be able to do anything. And I want to make it a little bit less black, get a little more white. You want to do? You don't want to do it this fast and slapdash, but we don't want this video to be too long. Okay, we got what we wanted. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to flatten the image. We're going to pick control A for all, then control C. Then what we want to do next is we want to come to channels. We already have our own channel right here, but we're going to create another one for this one. And we're going to we're going to use control V to paste our map. Then control D to deselect. It's going to be I'm sorry. Old coastline. Old coastline. We're gonna have a new one. Now we're gonna go back to here. Yes. We're gonna do Control Click. The close is the selection. We're gonna go here. And what we wanna do next is we wanna go to Edit then stroke. And we're having about two pixels. Make sure you have it set to black because you want, don't want to look like an idiot. Go edit, stroke, two pixels, black. There you go. Then we're going to go, go now we're going to go to select, modify, expand. We're going to expand it by four pixels, which is going to push it out from where our original stroke was. Then we're going to go to edit, stroke, keep it two pixels again. Then we're going to go to select, modify, expand. Six pixels this time. Good. Then we're going to do edit, stroke. This time we're going to keep that one pixel and we're not going to expand this time. And then we're going to control D to deselect. This is all good, but we want to have it a little bit more broken up. We don't want it to look so computer made. So we want to go to first we're going to lock transparency. 
we're going to go to filter noise add noise and now we're going to crank this up about close to 200 it doesn't need to be do that it's not to be it does not need to be that high but it can be make sure you have monochrome selected so that you, get, you don't get colored pixels next we're going to go to multiply so we hide the color white pixels and just see black now if you think it's a little too broken up you want a little bit more clumpy you want to go to filter then noise the median you want to set it to one pixel two pixels is still a little too much so one pixel is really good And this is basically how you make your coastline. We're going to be back in the next episode. We're going to talk about how to get the right brushes that we're going to need to actually color our land and make the trees we want to make. And after that, we're going to do how we're going to do mountains. I'm going to do painting mountains and then how we did patterns mountains. And you can either choose from one of those how you want to do it.